Hello and thanks for joining us. In this video, we will be looking at a substantial evaporative cooler, one of the largest in our range. This large evaporative cooler is ideal for workshops, warehouses, factories, and large areas up to 53 meters squared. It provides naturally cooled air from the 40 liter water tank in just 20 minutes. The fan assisted cooler uses the cooling effect of water evaporation and has three different fan speeds to help circulate the cooled air. It can reduce room temperature by up to 14 degrees Celsius. It has a powerful 2,700 meter cubed per hour airflow, which is directed through both louvers with a hose connection. It's perfect for you, keeping you comfortable in warm weather, during a heat wave or in naturally warm environments. This cooler can be used in kennels, sports halls, marquees, shops and schools. For optimal operation, it should be placed in low humidity, well ventilated areas. Set the equipment up on a firm level surface, where the air from the machine can circulate freely and where motor noise will not be a nuisance. Ideally, site the unit with its back to an open window or door and ensure an open door or window in the same room as far away as possible to allow an outlet for the airflow. The unit is empty of water and requires up to 40 litres of fresh, clean water. To manually fill the unit with fresh water, open the top cover and pour the water in. The unit is fitted with a water level indicator. Fill until it is at the top. Alternatively, the unit can be connected to a main water supply. A built-in float valve system ensures the unit is automatically refilled as necessary. To utilise this method, have a qualified plumber make the essential connections to the autofill water inlet. Once ready, plug the unit into its power supply using an RCD breaker and switch it on. The unit has three control dials on the front panel. The speed control switch is used to control the fan speed. The option is off, low, medium and high. Switch the unit on and leave it for 20 minutes to allow the pump to prime the cooling pads. Once primed, set the speed control dial to the required fan speed. Finally, the airflow can be oscillated by setting the function switch to cool or swing. When you have finished with the unit, set the function switch off and allow the fan to run for at least 10 minutes to dry the cooling pads. Please ensure that if you're manually filling the unit, check the water level every two hours. Before refilling the unit, you must switch it off and isolate it from the power supply. You can then top it up as necessary. If you want to learn more, or view our full range of tools and equipment, visit hss.com today.